Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, and in this video we're going to go over the top 5 books to learn Python as an absolute beginner going into 2020. Now, these are just my recommendations for the top 5 books to learn Python, but it'll also give you a good idea of the fundamentals of computer science, which will be really helpful when learning a new language. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so the first book I would recommend is Core Python Programming. Now, as you can see, this is quite an old book. Last release was in 2006. Uh, actually, I think you can get a newer, there is a new edition out. I think he has done a third edition, which uh, was published in 2009. But still, it's quite old. And I was quite conflicted as to whether to put this on the list or not, because this is a video about beginner books. And this book does really go into depth in Python, and it might be overwhelming for beginners. But if you are up for the challenge, and you really want to learn Python from a complete beginner, to having a very good understanding of the language just in one book, then this is the one I would recommend. Now, this course, Core Programming, uh, he has a load of different books in other languages if you're interested in checking those out. But um, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic book. Uh, it is really in depth. It's quite a dense book. Uh, the first seven chapters, you'd probably find the content in those would be spread out for a whole book if you want a really beginner in the kind of uh, the standard Python programming beginner books. But uh, yeah, this this goes up to 27 chapters and it will give you a really complex uh, understanding of some of the more complex features of Python. But yeah, fantastic book and I think you should check it out. Right, so the second book I'd recommend as an absolute beginner getting to learn Python is the Python Crash Course. Now, I haven't read this book myself. In fact, I've only read two of the books on this list, but I've spent a long time going through forums, asking friends, reading reviews, so you can trust what I have to say on this topic. But uh, yes, so the second book is the Python Crash Course. Now, this takes um, a much different approach uh, to teaching you Python than the previous book, and it doesn't go so much into depth. It's really a beginner's book, and it will give you an understanding of the basics of Python and some of the fundamentals of computer science. But unlike the other book, it teaches you through projects. And uh, yeah, so it will teach you free, it will take you through free projects. And the idea is that throughout these free projects, you'll learn all about different elements of Python. And by the end of it, you'll have a good basic understanding of the language. But this isn't a way I uh, personally like to learn because say you just want to educate yourself on a particular element of Python one day, you can't really open the book and then flip to that page. You have to look all the way through the projects to find that specific um, part. And then that's gonna be mixed up with a load of different stuff. So it's not a way I particularly like to learn, but obviously it's gonna work for a, a few of you and you may find it uh, more fun to learn whilst doing a project. And some of you, because you're working at the same time and then checking up on stuff, going back to your code, going back to the book, back to your code again, uh, it can make it easier to memorize for some people. But no, not, not a way I like to learn, but definitely a good book that's been recommended to me by a lot of people. Uh, so I'm going to put it on the list. Now, automate the boring stuff with Python. Uh, this is probably the most well-known book on the list. Definitely the best selling. Uh, and Fantastic for Beginners, as the title says, Practical Programming for Total Beginners. Not a, It doesn't go uh, as into detail as Core Programming with Python, but perhaps that's a good thing if you are an absolute beginner and you're not the quickest at picking up new stuff. Uh, and it's sort of a blend between the previous two books, because not only, like the first book, is it just a crash course guide on Python, it also goes through loads of really useful projects. So in the first section, you get the guide, you learn all the basic Python. And in the second section, it will take you through the projects where you can implement it. And that's really good because you can learn the stuff, go on to the project and then go back. Uh, because this book is really well laid out. Lots of people I've heard say use it as a reference book, either alongside a Udemy course or just like as they're coding, they can go back, check stuff out, have a look through, see what they've done wrong. Uh, because it's laid out really well and uh, yeah lots of good projects so you'll learn um, web scraping debugging organizing files reading and writing files loads of really useful stuff because as the title says it helps you automate the boring stuff with python and really i think that's what the book is about it's just for the average person being able to automate the boring stuff i don't think it's really designed to uh teach you Python to a high level, but it does give you a really fantastic understanding of the language if you're a beginner, 
And yep, uh, definitely worth a read. This is uh, the second book on the, on the uh, list that I have actually read and I really did enjoy it. So yeah, definitely recommend. Now the fourth book on this list is Effective Python, 59 Specific Ways to Write Better Python. Now like uh, core programming with Python, I wasn't sure whether to include this on the list or not as it's not the most beginner friendly book. In fact, it's actually marketed as a book for people that have an intermediate understanding of Python, but it is a great book to accompany one of the beginner books, such as Automate the Boring Things with Python, because it really goes over the best practices with Python, some of the little things that wouldn't be covered in the beginner books, which aren't uh, any more complex. Uh, than uh, what's taught in the beginner books, but just little details that aren't included because they're not absolutely necessary for understanding the language and hence won't be included in some quick like crash course books in Python. Um, so say you take the automate the boring stuff with Python book, it will tell you how to accomplish a simple task one way. This will show you how to accomplish that in a more efficient way, maybe in a faster way, and it will just go over the best practices. So you won't be able to learn Python as a beginner from this book, but you'll definitely be able to improve yourself and improve your beginner skills with this book um, really well. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna recommend this book and put this at number four on the list. Okay, so the last book on this list is Learn Python Free the Hard Way. Now, first of all, I just wanna point out that uh, this is a list of the top five books, but uh, from one to five, there's no particular order each book ranked around the same. It just depends on your per uh, personal preferences based on what I said, which book you think uh, would be the best uh, for yourself. So this is definitely the most beginner friendly book on the list, uh, even though it's titled Name Python, uh, Learn Python Free the Hard Way. It's not really the hard way at all. This is the most beginner friendly Python book you'll probably be able to get out there. Uh, it takes you from the absolute basics, just installing Python on your computer, setting it up, uh, and each chapter, you'll learn uh, that section of the language. Then it'll take you through a study drill, really to get that drilled into your uh, to your brain, so you never forget it. And then after you've done the study drill, it will uh, once you've done that perfectly, it will then take you to a quiz at the end of each chapter, where you'll go over yet again what you've learnt in that chapter. So this will help really drill in um, the language. Uh, but it doesn't go into anything complex and it really is a super basic guide. But if you are getting started, then it's the perfect book really, but it's not gonna last you more than two months before you've conquered just everything in the book. Uh, it goes through Python 3.3 as well, so it's fairly up to date and yeah, definitely worth a read. So uh, check this out. So thank you very much for watching the video and please subscribe for more Python videos, videos on ethical hacking and making money online. My name is James Wilson and I run a channel. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching the full video. Now, if you have any video requests, please just pop them down in the comment section and I'll get to them right away. I'm looking for new content to make all the time now. So, and also if you did like this video and you are uh, starting to learn Python, please subscribe because we're going to have a few tutorials coming soon. So uh, yeah, I hope that will help you out and uh, thanks a lot.